everyone, it's me, Keep It Quiet. Today I have a cute jelly toast tutorial that um, some people have requested and it was from my previous Homemade Squishy update. And this tutorial is really simple and easy, so here's the Squishy I'll be showing you guys how to make today. So instead of any jelly, I'm just going to be using marmalade here which is the idea that I was going after. I think it turned out pretty well because I used glass paint and that really helped it out. So stay tuned to the tutorial, guys. So the items you'll be needing are your paints and I have a bunch of colors laid out there, a block of foam and some scissors. So first off, I'm taking my foam and I slightly traced the bread shape on there. So we're just going to cut it out and make everything very smooth and neat. So I om I'm almost done with cutting the foam. I just need to soften everything out and smooth all the creases. So now that I have completed the foam, um, I'm going to take my paints now and make the color of the crust. So I started painting and basically all you're going to do is take the paint and put it on the crust. But be careful not to get it inside where the bread color is going to be. So just continue painting it like this very carefully because you do not want to bleed in like what I did there on accident. Now that I have finished the crust and I did a pretty messy job, it's not that good to be honest, but it still turned out okay. So now we can get started on the bread inside soft of the so I guess I wouldn't be needing to mix any colors. I'm just going to be using my Adobe colored paint and just painting in like that. So just try to get all the areas and cover up any mistakes you made. This is pretty simple, thank goodness. And now the other side. Now that you have completed the coloring, just set it up aside, let it dry, and then we'll come back with the jelly. So here's the finished bread. You can choose to leave it like this, or you can add the jelly, which I'm going to be doing right now. So I have some glass paint in here because I want it to look more like jelly. So I mix a tiny bit of orange in there. And what I'm trying to get is like a marmalade kind of look. So I'm just going to cut the bag and start piping. And the glass paint is much more liquidy than um, Scribbles paint. So just be careful with it and try not to mess up. You can always put it on and then use a pencil, which I'm going to do to straighten everything out. So that's how much I went on here. Now just taking a pencil, I'm gonna try to like pop all the bubbles on there and smooth the paint out to where I want it to be. After you've gotten it spread out to where you want it to be, you're just gonna set this off to the side and let it dry. And so after it dries, I'll come back with it all packaged and completed. So here's the completed squishy. I packaged it, which um, I just put in some clear packaging that I got and I think the marmalade turned out pretty well like you can kind of see how it's clear with the orange specks and everything on there so let's give it a squish test it's really soft and really slow rising I think this one turned out better than the other ones because the coloring looks very nice so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my upcoming videos. Bye! Thank you so much for 850 plus subscribers. You guys are awesome.